Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and play eFootball 2023 on your PC. The process is actually pretty simple, so let's just get started. So to be able to play eFootball 2023, you're going to need to download this program called Steam. Many of you probably already have it, but if you haven't heard of it before, Steam is pretty much the biggest marketplace and video game launcher in the world for PC. And even though Steam is a store, you're able to get eFootball 2023 completely free on here. So I'm going to leave the link to Steam down in the description and the first thing you want to do when you're here is you want to go click on the login button in the top right corner. When you make it to this page you then want to go scroll down to the bottom and click on the join Steam button. When you click on it you're going to start the process of creating a Steam account. You know pretty much giving your email address, creating your username, creating a password, pretty standard stuff. Once you're done creating your account you then want to go click on the green install Steam button to get Steam downloaded and installed on your computer. Alright, so once you open up Steam and sign in, you should be taken to the store page. If you're not automatically here, you just need to click on the store button in the top corner. So to go ahead and find the game, all you need to do is type in the search bar eFootball2023 and it should pop up. Once you make it to the store page, all you need to do is scroll down and click on play game here. When you click on it, it's going to open up this page here asking you if you want to create a desktop shortcut for the game, how much space you'll need on your hard drive to install the game, and which hard drive you want to install it on. Like it says right here, the disk space required is 43 gigabytes, so you want to make sure you have a hard drive that has that much space on it. So once you got all this figured out, just click on next and the installation process will start. All right, so now I'm going to go click on library here at the top. And in my games here, I got quite a few of them, but if we go to the E section, we should see that we now have eFootball 2023 getting installed. So yeah, that's pretty much the full process to get this game. If this video helped you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated.